गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग तो आज दिस इज लाइक 40 मिनट्स ऑफ ड्यूरेशन इफ इट ऑल इन मिडिल डिड वी लाइक इफ इट ऑल वी आर गोइंग आउट इट इज डिस्कनेक्टेड प्लीज जॉइन विद द सेम लिंक अगेन in the middle uh, in the middle of the class the link is like a uh, closed so please uh, join with the same link sir last time you said, like we had unlimited one no sir yes that is the first time the, that is the reason it is the first time i have uh, logged in it has given unlimited from the next time onwards for the other uh, like to uh, and the saturday i have a lab session for other it3 so on that day that is that is been disconnected automatically disconnected oh and that's the reason i have started the uh, link 5 uh, minutes before and what we were discussing in the last class we are discussing about rss is it right yes sir yes so so we are discussing about rss we'll see what we have discussed in the last class some of the points yes so these are things we have discussed what is an array so array is a, a collection of data values of same type at one place an array is a collection of variables of a similar type a uh, similar data type okay um next so types of arrays uh, we have discussed about syntax of arrays so what is the syntax so uh data type array and array name array name size and size should be mentioned inside a bracket that is uh square bracket there is in the square brackets and after that uh, what is the example we have discussed int array so the 10 float flu of 20 double avg of 15 char st of 10 so i have said the character array is a special type of array so we'll discuss that in detail so but it is also an array so when i have discussed what is the array definition of array is a collection of a uh, collection of data values of same type at one place so therefore the data values of same type which type again they are character type they are also array but so it i am saying that but it is like a special type okay so types of arrays what are single dimension 1d array 2d array and multi dimensional array 1d array 2d and 2d array and multi dimensional array what is a single dimensional array what we are discussing now it is called a single dimensional array we'll discuss uh, multi dimensional array multi dimensional array uh, in the uh, like two dimensional array and multi dimensional array so that is but uh, we don't have in the syllabus multi dimensional array we have only syllabus in the syllabus is a uh, two dimensional array and one dimensional array we'll discuss two dimensional array in the next uh, later class okay 
ప్లీజ్ కమ్ టు దట్ ప్లీజ్ కమ్ ఆన్ ద టైమ్ నేను మళ్ళీ టైమ్ లో రాకుండా మీరు మిమ్మల్ని ప్రతి ఒక్కరిని అడ్మిట్ చేయలేను ఓకేనా ప్లీజ్ కమ్ కమ్ ఆన్ ద టైమ్ ఓకే సో నెక్స్ట్ వీ హ్ డిస్కస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డిక్లరేషన్ హౌ ద డిక్లరేషన్ విల్ బి డన్ సో హార్ ఏ డిక్లరేషన్ విల్ బి డన్ అండ్ సో జస్ట్ వి డిక్లే దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ డిక్లరేషన్ ఇన్ ద డిక్లరేషన్ ఓన్లీ ద మెమోరీ అలకేషన్ విల్ బి డన్ రిమెంబర్ వాట్ యూ మెంబర్ డిక్లరేషన్ సో డిక్లరేషన్ ఈస్ Uh, mentioning uh, array name and size is called as declaration and only the memory allocation will be done if it is a local declaration the values default values are garbage values it is a, a, a if it is like a uh, global declaration so default values are uh, values are zeros uh, zeros and when i will declare uh, then array, uh, the array variables are created with this uh, name of array with index with index with index and where index starts from the zero so every remember array index starts from the zero and ends ends by n minus 1 array index will be start from zero and ends by n minus 1 where n is the size of array where n is the size of array and what is this we have discussed uh, the if it else uh, address starts with a, a one value so next immediate address will be the a consecutive address which is multiplied by the uh what is multiplied by your uh, integer that is integer type integer type so next is 1000 next is 1004 next 1008 1012 1004 if it is integer type it is a double so 1000 1008 1016 like that it will be there this is the eight okay so what is the size of uh, this is a what is the size of array here when i say a of five a of a of five what is the size of array this what is the size so how much data it is going to store now it is what is the size 20 bytes is the size of a of 5 int a of 5 int a of 5 okay so i have discussed this and after that we have discussed how to uh, this is initialization how to initialize the variables array variables x equal to 5 uh, uh, that is here uh, assigning here only the values by using a flower bracket this is called flower bracket open the flower bracket and 10 20 40 50 30 based upon your requirement you give it and another way is like if at all if you want to give only the less number of values only the uh, prescribed number of values you can give and remaining values will be zero if at all remember at least one value is assigned one value is assigned in the array so all the values uh, except that value all the values will be zero okay what is the value assigned after that all the values will be zero okay and if you want to assign a single value at a time you can assign by directly using a index by using a index value okay index so x of 0 is equal to 1 x of 1 equal to 2 so single variable at a time so single variable as a time and now so uh, if you, uh, you can give uh, you can uh, give a array without a size uh, we can mention array without size if at all if you are if at all if you are assigning values here only that is uh, initializing the values here only initializing the values here only this is one of the type of uh, assigning a uh, array with array type okay so next uh, normally uh, this is like one thing we have discussed size of a array is a static we cannot increase the size you cannot decrease the size once you uh, declared that was once you declared uh, that was uh, like uh, fixed we cannot increase the size we cannot decrease the size okay uh, that is only one of the disadvantage of your array so once your array size is mentioned that is only the array array size we cannot increase the size you cannot decrease the size that is static fixed size fixed size of memory allocation for array and we have discussed that so for making is uh, dynamic we have uh, dynamic memory allocation we'll discuss this in the latest when we discuss with the pointers okay that is about that and next and how to read the values how to read the values to uh, 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 array so this is scan of percentility first element second element third element and so on so if this is under this is um, 10 elements is okay but if it is 100 elements we cannot do this uh, right this time 100 times like this so we have replaced with the loop for loop that is for i equal to 0 i less than 60 i plus plus how much how much size you want to read and remember your loop should be started with a zero only because index starts with a zero so loop should be started with a zero and end with the n minus one so where is i less than size here okay so scan of percentile d ampersand x of five this is reading the values and printing the values is using a for loop again for i equal to zero 
I less than five. We have five elements. I less than five. I plus plus printed percentile x of five. So uh, reading array elements using a for loop, uh, printing of array elements using a for loop. So this is a dynamic reading of values into add. We have seen a simple example program. We have seen simple example program how to read the values and how to print the values. Okay, and now we'll discuss. Uh, uh, simple examples, uh, uh, simple example programs here, and and how to print a, for example, how to print a array values in the reverse case, in the reverse, uh, in the reverse value, in the reverse order. So, for example, and let's take an uh, array, an array I'm declaring. So, array values are uh, three, five, seven, nine. 20, okay, 25. So these are the array values I've taken. But I want to print these array values in the reverse order. So 25, 20, 9, 7, 5, 3. Can we do that? Can I do that? Yes, can I do that? Do I'm online? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Once yes, can you can repeat do. the question? Sir, we can do that, sir. Array values are 3, 5, 7, 9, 20, 25. So I've taken the order in this order. So 3, 5, 7, 9, 20, 25. And I want to print the array elements in the reverse order. Yes, sir. Can you do that? How, how can I do that? What is the logic to do that? In the for loop, we start with n and like start with n minus 1 and uh, so you can start with end, last with, uh, end yeah. with 0. Yes, start with the last last value. What is the size we have taken? And that is last value, n minus one. If the size is, what is the size here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is five. It start with n minus one, that is five. And end with a zero. End with a zero. So for that, so uh, simple, I'm writing a simple code. A main. And I'm declaring a, 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 a so int. We have uh, five, sorry, six, I'll take. Six elements are there, six, I'll take. I'm initializing here only. So three, five, seven, nine, 20, 25. Remember, this is static. You can take in the dynamic by using a scanner, okay? As you wish. And after that, uh, I'm going to print this in the reverse order. How to print, so printf, the reverse order, order of array values are for loop and start for loop i with n minus 1 okay n minus 1 and i greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus in the reverse loop so reverse loop this is called as a reverse for loop and printing them in the printf percentile d slash t and a of i and return zero that's close so what happens here for example in this case in this case i equal to first sorry here i have given uh, directly n minus one what is n i don't know here so six, you give directly five sorry and because i have given static size we given i have not taken n n value here so therefore, it is i equal to 5, i less than or equal to 0. What happens here? First, i value is equal to 5. Yes. So 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Then it goes to the next statement. What is printf percentile d slash t of a of 5? What is a of 5? So if, it all, if I'm writing these statements, I'm writing these statements, what is the memory allocation in the memory allocation? This is a of 0, a of 1. A of two, A of three, A of four, and A of five. What are the elements? Three, five, seven, nine, twenty, twenty-five. So now, so print your percentile A of five. What is A of five value? What is A of 25. five value? This is twenty-five. So first, I'm going to print twenty-five and followed by space. I'm going to maintain a space. 
next in the next iteration so we have completed all the statements in the for loop go to the i minus 1 updation i minus 1 i value becomes 4 4 greater than 0 as yes, it is true so again it we go to the statement print of percentility a of 4 so what is a of 4 this is a of 4 20 so i will be printing a 20 with a space again next i minus minus it just becomes 3 so 3 greater than 0 as yes, it is true and here uh, percentility, we are going to print a percentility value which is there of a of value. What is a of value? A of three. What is a of three? This is a of three, nine. So a nine and it followed by space. After completing the statements, i minus minus, I'm going to decrease i value. I value, so i value becomes uh, four here. Set uh, three in term of three only. So now it becomes uh, two, two greater than zero. Yes, it is true. And percentage slash t. I'm going to print a two. two. So a of two. What is a of two? So seven followed by space. Next, i value becomes i value becomes one. So one greater than or equal to zero. Yes, it is true. And after that, I'm going to print a percentage. What is the value which is there? A of I, what is a of i? a of 1. What is a of 1? So a of 1 is 5. So I'm going to print the 5 and followed by space. So slash is the space. Next, i minus minus, i value becomes 0. 0 is greater than or equal to 0. It is it's, it's true. So next, percentile d slash t is uh, a, i value is 0. a of 0. What is a of 0? 3. And 3 followed by space. Next, i minus minus, i value becomes minus 1. Minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. False. We come out of the deep block. So therefore, what is the value? 25 space 20 space 9 space 7 space 5 space 3 space. So this is the value I'm going to print. So is that in the reverse order? 3, 5, 7, 9, 20, 25 and 20, 20, uh, 25, 20, 9, 7, 5 and 3 in the reverse order. So to print the reverse order, or reverse the loop, just to reverse the loop, you can print the array values in the reverse order. Is that right? Understood? Did everyone understood? Yes. Okay. In the class, once again, I'm asking any doubts in the class. Very simple program, but uh, need to understand. So this we are going for one by one, step by step. If you're not understanding, please let me know what is the like. Where did you? Where didn't you understand? And here I've taken the static static uh, application. If you want to take is a dynamic value reading. So you declare that int a of 6 and after that you read a, a scan of using for loop for i equal to 0 i less than or equal to i less than five, 6 i plus plus and scan up percentile d and present a of i so this is how to read the values into the array so using a for loop again for loop this is a dynamic value of way of reading areas so you have taken your uh, static values you have taken your static values that is uh, static initialization so what is the disadvantage here is every time i've used only these values and if i'm executing this program this program every time i've used i'm going to get the values of output of these values only the same values if i'm going if i'm writing this kind of like the for loop using for loop i can dynamically change my input on the output screen dynamically i can change uh, dynamically on the input on the output screen what is output screen? the black screen which you get is a black screen that is standard out we can change our uh, values whenever we want it change it and you can print it in the reverse order so as you wish so this is how uh, a dynamic so and remember and you can uh, here i have declared a static size also int uh, a of a of 6 when I write int a of 6, this is fixed. I cannot increase the size. I cannot decrease the size. So what you can do this, what you can by using this uh, for uh, uh, making a larger elements dynamically you want to change. What you what you do is declare a highest size of uh, data, highest size of in the array. So declare int a of 100 and read n value, declare n value also and read n value from the user dynamically you can change it dynamically you can change it read n value from the user based upon n value you take you take the values how it will be i would be there so, so i'll show that so i'll allow to choose cupid student int 
a of 100 a of 100 and printer enter size of array and scan it percent ld i'm reading their size into n so now n value is like here sorry int i n from i so n value into i so now i've read the size after that print f I'm asking user to enter array values enter array values so is is going to enter the array values so how to read the array values using a for loop i equal to zero i less than now write n so i less than n so what is the size here we have declared n so i plus plus and scan f percent ld and percent here i so only the size which you have mentioned here that size will be reading into array okay the remaining will not be so what happens when I write this statement? So it creates the 100 values in the memory. It creates the 100 values in the memory and so on. This is A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, and so on, A of 99. 100 values will be created. But in that, based upon your requirement, what is the size of n? For example, 6 or 7, 10, 20, 30, or you wish, based upon less than the 100 less than the 100 you can take so that means you can take this vary vary your array values based upon n value on the output screen you can vary but the once you create it it will be created 100 elements 100 elements in the memory but in the 100 elements you are only using the what is required from the elements memory elements sir you uh, said you can, we can't give variables as array sizes right yes that's the reason so size in the variable ka evaluate once I'm, once I'm, once I'm writing a, a of hundred, it is creating hundred elements. It is creating Sir, but elements. what if we declare it after the variable has some value, like not yes, a garbage value, has some value. Adi chaptunan, adi chaptan. I'll, I'll come for that next. Then tarawat nae next. Adi statement kothan. Okay na? So we create the end. Like what happens is, like once I write a of hundred, hundred elements will be created. In that hundred elements. What is the n size you mentioned on the output screen? That many values you are going to use. However, in memory, 100 elements will be there, but you are going to use only part of the elements in that element. For example, if you mentioned is 10, so 10 elements in the 100, 100 memory location you are going to use. First 10 elements you are going to use. And if it is uh, size is uh, your n size is 20, and the first 20 elements, 20 memory locations you are going to use, remaining will be zeros. Remaining will be zero. So you are not going to use it. You are not going to use it. That is the thing we are going to do here in this a uh, type of thing. In the e type of engineering, that all the chest not matter. Okay, na? and uh, after that, whenever I enter the size, this will be reading only that many elements. If it is twenty, so I am going to use uh, going to read twenty elements in the memory. Twenty elements first, twenty elements in the memory, and that twenty elements. So we are going to use that. We are going to declare that and what do you want to do? So you could work read chase and read chase and the way what you are going to do that are element that is your wish. So and for example, what is the operation you do on the uh, uh, like array arrays array elements that you have wish. So in just control that is like uh, that your wish. But here, what is going to happen here? This is once you write this AF hundred, hundred memory locations are going to uh, uh, allocate, allocate for this uh, AF hundred, and in that you're going to read, you're going to like use only the n elements what you declare okay so that means you have to be in, ensure that ensure that uh, we have to take the what is the size and the array size and the what you uh, declare that should be the uh, highest enough to use that for example uh, in the real time you may not be like for example you are in the uh, students of 100 100 mem uh, like, uh, 60 members in the class if at all uh, next in the next year other 60 members comes in other 60 members like that it goes on incrementing so that depends upon your uh, uh, program writing of your program style okay but in the real time it not may not be the 100 so it will be increasing or decreasing that will be uh, done so but as in the program when you are writing we are going to declare a of 100 in the not only a of 100 you can declare thousand also you can declare 
ten thousand also. But based upon this should be, uh, you should see such that the memory should be available in the RAM. So you can declare, but the memory should be available in the RAM. What is the size you are declaring? Okay, that depends upon the what is the memory size you available in the nowadays the memory will be the two GB, four GB. Uh, your RAM size will be four GB or eight GB. Not at all. It will be like uh, uh, like what is it? Uh, some of the ante uh, alka uh, option la gunda to but take uh, take into account that take into account that whether you are taking what is the size you want it okay na of course we are not going to if you define hundred elements you are not going to read hundred elements in the program in the in the theoretically when you write it so normally in the program you are not going to read hundred elements it goes it takes a twenty uh, uh, like more than twenty minutes to take that hundred elements okay. But uh, when you are going to read that hundred elements is like um, somewhere like for example uh, uh, you are going to read that elements that uh, values hundred values from the other file or file which values read shell and kuna puru so you have to tick so not only the hundred elements will be there in the file some other file many values will be there so the alarm tapuru so you are going to declare the large large size that is your wish but in the program practically when you are writing the program this hundred size is enough. For us to write, okay. If you want to declare, you can declare much more size. Other depends upon your wish, how much you want to take. And when you declare it, like uh, your size, that should be uh, like here. If the entire declare just now, then we can some other place. But uh, this how much you are going to take, that is depends upon your program, okay. And when you say this statement, when you say the statement, how much you size you say in this size, that size will be uh, allocated in the memory. And the part of the value, part of the memory, you are going to use by using the n variable. This is one type. And uh, coming to other way, coming to other one, uh, coming to so it is staying to ten minutes. So please, like if at all it is going out, please come again back. Okay. And other ways, like where uh, what uh, your uh, Uh, Datu is uh, saying is like, um, sir, why why can't we like int n? I'm declaring int n and i, and I'm reading n value here. Read n value. After reading it, I'm going to allocate int a of n. Is that right? Yes, we can do that. But this is possible, possible after C ninety nine compilers. Remember C ninety nine compilers. So C ninety nine only will allow you to declare anywhere in the program. So, uh, but nowadays all the C ninety nine compilers you can use it. But so this is like one of the option I'm telling. So this is not the perfect one to do that. So as a R is I'm telling perfect one to do that as a wish you can do it. So as a programmer you can do that also. But uh, this is not the best option to do. Ante manam memory save che daan kila che asna. But it is correct. Uh, theoretically it is correct. Practically when I say R should not be increased or decreased the size. But in the program, nowadays in the program, you can do that. So what it is doing is int declare int n, write i int n, write r. After that, read n value. What is the value you want to read it by using a scanf and declare int a of n. What happens? So n value will be replaced. For example, n value is ten. You have taken n value is ten, so it becomes a of ten. N value is replaced with a constant value ten. So now what happens? A of ten. So a of ten is The values will be allocated. Ten values will be allocated. Memory allocation will be done in the memory. Okay, A of zero to and so on. A of nine. Yes, that to tell me. Like after reading uh, uh, n, it's like we we have it's like call by reference only, no sir. Call by reference, not the call by reference. It is not the call by. Reference. Like read read by reference, uh, ah, like yeah. that value. Ah yes, that is indirectly read by reference. Like after it's declared and the value is read, uh, like uh, then where is the issue in like reading, sir? Like uh, I didn't get you. The like in uh, after the reading part, declaration part is complete for the size. Okay. Why can't we dec like why is it not the perfect solution? Because even before C ninety nine, like it would have the same logic, no, sir? Like no. Uh, we would have done this way so in, before C ninety nine. We would have done this way. 
and other ways like i just said other ways to they, they have done not only this other way the the maximum pointers are used, pointers are yeah, used pointers so in the real time in the real time scenario we are not going to use arrays actually so but the problem before the problem we have we have the problems mm -hmm. on the based upon arrays therefore we are going to use this arrays Okay, now so technically, you... like uh, this referencing and all, like it works based on array, like pointer principle only. Yes, pointer know? based only. Everything comes from the pointer based on. Yes. So everything depends upon this name. This name is the uh, internal pointer variable. So indirectly inside us array, there is a pointer. Like not just that, like when we put n inside, we are actually putting the memory address of n. No, no, so. not memory address. It replaces the constant value. Remember, what is the n value you read it? What is the n value you read it? N value will be replaced by what is the constant value you read? Like it will send it, like how it will read? It will read by pointers only, no, sir. No, no, no. Like, ah, yes, the address will be, the value which has been reading in here, n value, will be read by pointers only. The indirectly the address, by using an address, it will be reading. But after that, when I write a of n, a of n, what is the n value? It will be checked. What is the n value in the memory? So 10. So 10 will be replaced with the n value. So now a of 10 will be done. So a of 10. Now what is a of 10? So a of 10 values will be allocated memory. 10 values will be allocated with the array of memory. So that is the done. This is done here. But indirectly, uh, like as you said, so internally the array itself is a pointer. It is having a pointer. Axing and everything will be done internally is a pointer. So once we discuss about the pointers, we'll understand detailly what is pointer, what is this going to do inside that. You'll so, you'll be telling that. So, sir, we have discussed that in the areas. Okay, that is the reason we have discussed that. You will be telling that. Okay. Hmm. Now, uh, now uh, think in terms of only arrays. Don't go into the deeper way to way to the pointers. Okay. And remember, remember uh, the C and C plus plus is richer, and we are going to use for system uh, type of uh, uh, applications, system type of applications, or system type of software because they have pointers. They have pointers. Based up, uh, because of that only, we are going to use that them for our uh, system type of applications, system type of software. Okay, done.
print f sir Okay, this is the program. So see here. And what I've done here, I've declared my maximum size of int array. And I'm taking a part of this array as an n size, part of this array as n size. N size. And in that, uh, I'm taking the values into that array. And after that, I'm printing it. Just my work is to print. So you can say it less, just I'm printing it. Okay now. What I'm going to do is I'm printing them. So just I'm printing them, we'll see that. So here it is asking to enter the size of array. Uh, yeah, I'm entering the size to be a, a six. My size is six and enter array elements. It's asking to what are the array elements you want to read it. So I'm reading uh, 20, uh, 30, uh, 40, 50, 10, and 60 so that means only that six six elements i've done so now array values are so now what are the array values so 6 20 30 40 50 and 10. okay this is my array. so one of the way to do it so other way, as I said, uh, if it's C99 compiler, C99 compiler, I'm not going to declare here. So here I'm going to declare, I'm going to read the values after that int a of n. So now what happens? So what is the n value of red? So here it will be n value replaced, n value replaced. So now what is the done that uh, that many values only be allocated and not the memory will not be raised. That is one of the way. So We'll see it. So it is asking to enter the size. I'm entering a six, same. So one, two, three, four, five, six. To understand, okay, six elements. So what are the array elements? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. And what if, what if, so for example, uh, if I'm taking n value, but whether I can print other values that, so like, can I print it? No, I cannot print because I've given a limit to be printed n value only. Okay, n value on HS and government n value work to print out. And the work to HS and the work to print out. The raw value is revo, this power read over. Okay, that is about this. So, this is like how to read the values, how to read the values into array. Okay, if you understood this, very good. <coughs> Any doubts up to here in this program? Up to here in this program. Anyone in the class? Any doubts? Remember, this will not be worked if at all if your compiler is not supported of C99 compiling compiler. Okay, na? if your compiler is not C99 compiler, it will not be supported. This type of ad, uh, allocation, like uh, declaration, is not supported. Declaration is not supported. And remember that. So, what is the what is the thing you have to do? That is the best case to do is like declare the maximum size here in this array. So, yeah, hundred, and you take the part of the values into it. So, this is a regular way and traditional way to do that. Okay, traditional way to do that. By this, what is happening is like we are allocating hundred element, but we are taking only the lesser value. And remember, sir, you have taken hundred. I should take hundred. No, as per your as per your program. If you're only taking a maximum size 10, only take at A of 10. And if you're taking a maximum size 100, and take 100. Maximum size 50, you take 50. Maximum size 10, you take 10. Based upon your requirement, what is the like array you want to size, take the size into, into, into the code. So that is your wish. Okay. <clears throat> so any doubts up to here? Once again, any doubts here? 
I think I'm not going too fast. Is that right? I'm going fast. No, sir. No, sir. You're not going fast. Okay. <clears throat> no doubts. Okay. So next. Uh, we are going to execute. Uh, we are going to uh, uh, execute two programs. That is like uh, first one we have already done. First one. First one is sum of array elements. How to find the sum of array elements? Sum of array elements. And for example, I have entered the array values at five, seven, nine, twenty, thirty-five. Let's let's say these are the five elements in the array. So I want to make these array elements. Array elements addition. What is the sum? Total sum. Five plus seven plus nine plus. Using for loop. When thirty five. How how I want to get? So this is like sum of array elements. So how it how it should be done? So how it will be done? Using so for loop. As it is the reading. Using for loop. But uh, now in the in the program, for example, uh, in the previous cases, uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So. Sum of natural numbers. Remember, do you remember what is sum of natural numbers? So we have done using a for loop for i equal to starting with one i less than or equal to n. What is the size? What you entered size n natural numbers n i plus plus and you have done sum equal to sum plus i you have done. So that is where i is the value which is started from here to here. But here we are not going to add i value. We have to add this is this element is a of i. This element is sorry a of one. Sir, this is a of zero. Sorry, sir. A of one, a of two, a of three, and a of four. We have to add which element? A of one zero, a of one, a of two, a of three, and so on. That means a of n values. Or for example, how much size you give? That is the n values. Now I should start i value from there zero, and i value less than n. Where is n? Is the size? Remember where n is the size? If it is five, it is five. Based upon that, now sum equal to sum plus it is i or what is this re replacement? A of i because a of i adding uh, the value five should be added. What is the name of uh, a array? Uh, this name of element a of zero. So this name a of one. This name a of two. This name is a of three. This name is a of four. So that means i value is changing, but i is one here, i is zero here, i is one here, i is two here, i is three here, i is four. So just write a of I instead of I just write a of I done sub equal to sub plus a of I your program is done the same thing and print the sum only sum in, not in the for loop remember don't write inside a for loop out of for loop because sum is done after completion of your for loop sum apply both the completion of for loop point throughout out the property after completing a for loop you print a person tell the sum value this is prints the sum of array elements. Okay, this is one program. Other program. I is less than n, no sir. Sorry. Ah, uh, yes, less than n. Sorry, sir. Sir. sir, is there any standard library with all these simple functions? No, no, no. We don't have any standard library. We have standard library for strings, not for the regular arrays. Because array may be any type of array. String is only particular type. It is character array. Okay. Sir, can you have non-string type of character array? Non-string type of character array? No. Uh, if at all, if I'm writing a character, it is a character, correct collection of characters. What do you mean by collection of character? Like in strings, we have end of string character, no, sir. Yes. Without that, can we make arrays like declare them normally like integer arrays and all? Yes, integer array is not having any uh, like end of array, end of array, end of array uh, uh, character. Like that, if we declare it, will it, will it be valid? Array uh, character array. Yeah. No, when you when you write C H char of some array size, it automatically thinks that it is a character a string and it, it ends with a, uh, any uh, character of. Uh, the ending character of uh, character string that is end character automatically it string things that end character there is the end character okay 
okay we'll discuss that in the strings okay now we are going out of topic please datto you are every time you are making um, making me to go out of topic okay next is finding min element and max element from array array of elements for example there is elements are 5 uh, 3 uh, 20 uh, let's take uh, uh, mali even uh, 7 okay 20 uh, uh, 6 25 uh, 25 this is my elements in the uh, array uh, 25 badle 2 tesukunna malli meer last okay na these are the elements in the array i want to find which element is a, uh, a min element from array and which element is the maximum element from the array i want to print a min element and max element from the array what is the min element in this program so in this in this uh, mm -hmm. uh thing this is a minimum element and this is a maximum element so i want to get a 20 as a max element 2 as a min element how will how we are going to do that idela chestam in for loop declare an if statement that if a, a like i like a of yes. i greater than a, a of i minus 1 then uh, Okay, so there are uh, yeah. uh, five uh, apples in my hand. How I am going to do that? Which is a, uh, a bigger apple? Which is a smaller apple? I am going to check. I am going to compare each one, each with a each one, and I am going to say it is a uh, uh, bigger apple. So which is a bigger apple? Which is a low, uh, is a smaller apple? We are going to say. And an okay. Sir, first we'll keep the first element as the like first we'll keep first yes. element as the maximum. Yes. Sir, then we'll compare with the next one. Yes, get that. If it yes. is maximum, then we'll take that as maximum. Like yes, very good. Uh, and I'm trying to explain to others also. Sorry. And uh, there are apples. So these are five apples are there in my hand. So I'm going to do how I'm going to do this. I'm going to compare each apple with each other, and I'm going to say which is the uh, largest, uh, which is the sm smallest, and which is the largest. Let's take a simple a simple case. I'm having one uh, like one one uh, basket saying that this is a max or min min basket. This is a min basket. Now I'm, my my work is to check which is a minimum, and take the first first apple, take the first apple and check with the other apple, check with the other apple. So that is like this apple with this apple. So okay, whether this apple is uh, smaller, first think that this uh, this is a smaller. So I'm ke keeping this smaller. After that, this smaller apple with this apple, this apple. Is this a smaller apple or this is a smaller apple? I'm going to check. No, if it is a smaller apple, this is a smaller apple. I'm going to replace replace that there only and keep this here. I'm taking this smaller apple here. And then the apple smaller one for now. And for example, इला राय रूम वाले में कर देंगे आठ लेयर. Okay, so seven, five, three, and twenty and six. So these are the things. Okay, so ओके बास्केट लो मिन्न बास्केट अन मेरे तो नन first मिन्न अन गुरु चप्पल First, I'm thinking. So, now, like, a, a, the line, I put a apple, line, I put which is a smaller apple. This is a smaller apple, and seven is a smaller apple. After that, I'm going to check this with this seven apple with the five apple. So, which which is a uh, smaller? Five is smaller. I'm going to uh, discard this. I'm going to place five is my smaller apple. I'm saying, and after that, I'm going to check five with this three. So, and the third one, I'm thinking. So, next is uh, next apple, I'm going to so five is. Compared with the three, so each is a smaller apple. I'm going to discard this five and replace this minimum with a a three. So next, compare three with twenty. Which is which is a smaller apple? This is a smaller apple. Okay, and this with the six. This is a smaller apple. Which is a smaller apple now? After comparing all the elements, three is a smaller apple. So like that, this is the logic I'm going to apply here in this my uh, program. So what is I'm going to do is first. And I'm going to say I'm going to declare one min is the my variable that is which is a basket which is a min variable. And first in the first thinking this element itself is a smaller one. Puna. Ante apple is smaller one. Ante the first element itself be smaller apple. That is first element and all the all the elements on the a of zero is the first element. Done. So after that to compare each element to compare each element what is the thing I am going to do is for loop. 
ఫస్ట్ ఎవ్రీ ఎలిమెంట్ ఎవ్రీ ఎలిమెంట్ తో కంపేర్ చేయాలంటే ఫర్ రూప్ తో కంపేర్ చేయాలి ఫస్ట్ ఐ ఈక్వల్ టు ఆల్రెడీ ఫస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ అయిపోయింది ఫస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఇస్ మినిమం ఎలిమెంట్ అనుకుంటున్నాను మినిమం ఎలిమెంట్ దీన్ని కంపేర్ చేయాల్సిన అవసరం ఉందా లేదు నో నీ టు కంపేర్ దిస్ ఎలిమెంట్ మినిమం ఎలిమెంట్ విత్ దిస్ జి దేర్ ఫోర్ ఐఎమ్ స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ వన్ బికాస్ ఫస్ట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇస్ ఏ మినిమం ఎలిమెంట్ కాబట్టి ఐ వాల్యూ జీరో నుంచి కాదు వన్ నుంచి స్టార్ట్ చేస్తున్నాను ఓకేనా నెక్స్ట్ ఐ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ లెస్ దెన్ ఎన్ ఐ ప్లస్ ప్లస్ నౌ కండిషన్ చెకింగ్ కండిషన్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద కండిషన్ ఇఫ్ మినిమం ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద మిన్ ఐఎమ్ టేకింగ్ మినిమం ఈజ్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ అంతే కదా గ్రేటర్ దెన్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు చెక్ దిస్ షుడ్ బి లైక్ లెస్ దెన్ దిస్ ఇక్కడ ఉన్న వాల్యూ గ్రేటర్ ఉంటే దట్ ఇస్ లెస్ ఇక్కడ ఉన్న వాల్యూ గ్రేటర్ ఉంటే దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద థింగ్ విచ్ ఇస్ దేర్ హియర్ గ్రేటర్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు రిప్లేస్ దిస్ ఇయర్ ఆర్ ఎల్స్ ఇలా కూడా అనుకోవచ్చు ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఈస్ అ లెస్సర్ ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఈస్ అ లెస్సర్ అండ్ ఐమ్ గోయింగ్ టు రిప్లేస్ దిస్ సో ఇలా అనుకోకుండా ఇలా అనుకున్నా ఓకే ఆర్ ఎల్స్ సో విజ్ అ వాల్యూ ఏ ఆఫ్ ఐ ఈజ్ లెస్సర్ ఈజ్ లెస్సర్ దెన్ అ మినిమం ఇది కూడా అంతే కదా గ్రేటర్ మినిమం గ్రేటర్ లెస్ దర్ దెన్ ద మినిమం ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు రీప్లేస్ దట్ ఏ ఆఫ్ ఐ వాల్యూ ఇన్ టు మినిమం దట్స్ ఇట్ ఫైనింగ్ అ మినిమం ఇస్ దట్ సో ఎలా చేస్తారు సేమ్ లాజిక్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద లాజిక్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హియర్ సెవెన్ యాపిల్ ఇస్ ఫస్ట్ ఫైవ్ రిమెంబర్ దిస్ ఇస్ అలా పెద్దగా చిన్నగా అనుకోకండి సో ద సైజ్ విచ్ ఇస్ టెలింగ్ ఇస్ ద సైజ్ త్రీ and 20 and 6 so now i am taking a, this is a minimum is my basket already 7 is there in this uh, minimum no need to compare this minimum minimum ni deento compare cheyalsa avasaram ledhu so already this is element so therefore this e element to compare cheyali minimum with this 7 so minimum with this 7 so minimum end is 7 so 7 with 5 7 with 5 which is a, which is like this is a of i remember this is a of 1 this is a of 2 so ante idi this this is the minimum i'm going to replace this means a of i is minimum this is a minimum i'm going to replace delete this and replace here with a minimum with a 5 5 apple apple 5 so therefore that is a thing if this is a minimum if this is true ante ee condition ee statement deniki vartistadi deeniki maatrame that is if case but if you want to write open brackets close this right and if this is a minimum true becomes a true i'm going to replace the what is the value which is there a of i i'm going to replace what is the a of i first time it will be 1 next time it will be 2 next time it will be 3 4 like that it will be incrementing up to n value the same thing this is like finding a minimum then what is the minimum maximum logic same write the same logic so ide logic raayali so it should be replaced for loop row per for loop la raayali kabatti same i'm writing if a of i is greater than intha mundu less ante minimum a of i is greater than max take another value called max and take this here after min you write a max equal to a of 0 max replace that max with a of i that close this statement is up to here this statement here so i'm closing here this is finding a minimum value and maximum value in the array is that right done any doubts any doubts okay so no. firstly I'll, i'll i'll type that program and i'll tell you so up to this is same uh, scan up to here it is same so you have to read the elements so i've read the elements into array and after that uh, i'm making so i have declared two variables called a minimum variable min variable and a max variable max variable min equal to a of 0 you can take 0 also directly min equal to 0 or appudu em cheyali first element nunchi compare cheyali okay na however inka appudu oka oka iteration ekku avutundi kabatti we are not going to do that okay na you else you can do that also okay ante enti instead of a of 0 you take directly 0 appudu ekkanchi comparison cheyali 0 0th element nunchi comparison start cheyali you have to start the comparison from the zero element
you can write separately also logic yeah for loop layer of rasi malli separate ga rasu logic that is your wish Okay, done. So I have to print the values, minimum value and maximum value. Enter the size of array. So I'm entering the size as five. So elements are uh, seven, three, five, six, two. Okay. The minimum value is equal to the maximum value is equal to seven. Is that right? Done. Any doubts? Yes, sir. Any doubts? No. Others? Others in the class? Okay, these are the two programs. Sir, once again, can you show the code? Sir? Yeah. Simple code. If a of i less than min, so place that a of i value into minimum. So placing this is assigning a of i into minimum. Remember, right side into left side cousin out. Remember, if this a of i is greater than the max, I'm placing a of i into max. So that is done oh, throughout the loop that is throughout the uh, array elements so array elements plus so because i have zero is already done so i'm starting with the loop from one if you do this like in the Japanese logic if you do min equal to zero and if max equal to zero and you have to start this from zero nothing element zero First zero element minimum or maximum one put start just okay. Is that right? Done. Okay. So we'll take the attendance. Any doubts up to here? Once again, I'm asking. Any doubts? Seventy one. Uh, please uh, call uh, respond to your call, uh, your attendance call. Seventy one. Seventy two. Be fast. Seventy three. Present. Present sir. Seventy. Present sir. Seventy four. Present sir. Seventy. Uh, Seventy five. Present sir. Seventy five. Present, sir. 75. Okay. Present, 76. sir. 76. Don't, present, leave, sir. don't leave the call. Please don't leave the call, everyone. 76 present, sir. Okay, 76. 70, 76. Uh, 77. Present, sir. 78. Present, sir. 77. 79. Present, sir. 80. Present, sir. 81. Fast, present, fast. Sir. 82. Present, sir. 83. 83. Okay, absent. 84. Present, sir. 85. Present, sir. 86. Present, sir. Present. 86. 86. Present, sir. 87. Present, sir. 88. Present, sir. 89. Present, sir. 90. Present, sir. 91. 
present sir 92 92 93 present sir 93 uh, 94 present sir 95 present sir 96 96 97 yes sir 98 सर 108 सर 108 वेंट टू आइडिया तोन मीटिंग सर ओके 109 109 मनात प्रेजेंट सर 110 110 सर 111 111 सर 112 112 सर 113 प्रेजेंट सर 114 प्रेजेंट सर 115 प्रेजेंट सर 116 117 present sir 122 122 123 124 125 126 oh, present sir 125 126 present sir 126 127 present sir 128 present sir 129 present sir 130 present sir 131 present sir 132 present sir 133 present sir okay you can leave so you can leave any doubts you can tell me sir 83 present okay 83 who is 83 shweta sir why didn't you respond रेस्पॉन्स जेल का था। ओके। सर नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम सर। हम्म अंदर का दे प्रॉब्लम होता है। ओके। सर वन सिक्सटीन प्रेजेंट। सॉरी वन सिक्सटीन प्रेजेंट ओके। सर वन ट्वेंटी फोर प्रेजेंट। हाँ वन ट्वेंटी फोर प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट। सर चप्पना ना। अब मिनिमम जीरो ये बढ़ान के आवट ले सर अंटे इपुर मानम टू आन एंटर चेस्टे टू जीरो कंटे पैदल का आपट जीरो आने डिस्प्ले चेस्तुंडे इपुर तो मिनिमम आ हाँ मिनिमम जीरो एंड जीरो ये बढ़ान के लिए देगा तो करेक्ट मच पेन सर ओके सर ओके सर तो मैक्सिमम केस लो ओके आते मैक्सिमम लो क्या होते हैं मिनि� you can do that in the function okati maximum with the arrays okati minimum with the arrays hmm okay sir chup nana sorry sir i was just testing my mic in the k86 present and chappa when k86 present present sorry sir okay रिटर्न मैक्स राइट अम मर्च पे है ना हरी बुर ओके एनी डाउट्स यू कैन बी हियर इफ इट ऑल इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन लीव सर ओके सर चेक चेंज सर आ ओके प्रेजेंट सी डिसेबल स्क्रीन शेयरिंग हाँ 
स्क्रीन शेयरिंग डिसेबल्ड डिसेबल्ड आने को वन मिनट ये यूज कंटिन्यू आ वाई ओके डन करेक्ट है ना सर करेक्ट व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ कंटिन्यू लाइक जस्ट जस्ट फॉर बिकॉज जस्ट टू मेक द लॉजिक विजिबल ओके Okay. Any doubts? Others? Yes, I'm closing the session. <laughs>